Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for uh, coming back. I'm doing a, a brief little tutorial on uh, creating a logo to do a, uh, a watermark for a, a, a video. Uh, I had a request uh, from uh, one of my uh, subscribers, so I'm doing this for him. And uh, let's just see what we can do here. This is going to be a simple little watermark, nothing fancy. Uh, you can follow along, and it'll have different layers, so you can apply it, make it a a uh, clear background or a white background, background, however you want to do it. So uh, we're going to create a new file. I'm going to do 800 by 600 at 120. Uh, of course, if it's a watermark, it's going to be shrunk down, so hopefully it will save the sharpness. Because if you made this like, you know, lower resolution, it probably wouldn't look quite as good. So, okay, so there's that. So I'm going to make this a multi layer. Alrighty, so let me, uh, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so first we're going to make the background layer. I'm going to create this as white. So we're going to, let me change this to white. There we go. And let's do a bucket fill. Okay, there's a background layer. Now let's create a second layer. And the uh, logo that I'm creating is just just a random logo. Um, you can create it however you want, you know, put whatever lettering or shapes, whatever you want. Uh, so, okay, let's get the, uh, the uh, elliptical marquee tool. And I'm just going to make it like a button shape. Okay, no big deal. Okay, there's a button shape. Let's just sort of center that a little bit using the up arrows, up, down, left, right. Doesn't really matter because I'm going to make the background layer transparent if we want. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got this oval shape. It's fairly centered. Now I'm going to do a bucket fill on that. And I do have the, um, the feathering set pretty low, so it should be a sharp edge. Okay. Okay, so there now we have a, an oval uh, filled with blue. Now I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm just going to do these effects by hand. I mean, you can do some of this stuff with uh, you know the filters. Um, I'm just doing it down and dirty, real quick, no big deal. So let's uh, get some black for that. Okay, there we go, black. Alrighty, now I'm just going to take a brush, uh, just a soft, soft brush. And uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm using the same oval shape. I haven't uh, taken the oval shape off. I'm just going to uh, assume that the light source is coming from the upper left. So I'm just going to uh, just put some color in there. No big deal. Okay. Now I'm going to change to white. And I'm not going to put as much white. Just sort of see it's not quite the same amount as down in the bottom. Okay. Now all i got to do is do a... Uh, first I'm going to deselect. Okay, now I'm going to do a filter blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, let's up that. There now, can you see how it sort of shaded it? Not the best, but just down and dirty real easy. Okay, and then I'm going to take the uh, selection back, and I'm going to select inverse, and I'm going to delete it. That's going to get rid of any of the any of the blur that went outside the lines. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put it back now. Select inverse. There you go. Okay, now select deselect. There. Okay, now I've got my white layer, my blue layer, and there you can see the shading. Okay, and there's the shading layer. Okay. Alrighty, now let's create another layer. We're going to do some lettering. Okay, just as an example. Okay, yeah, small s. Oop, wait a second. Let's go back and change that color to black. There we go. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Now we've got that layer. That's just an example of the the logo name or letters or whatever it is. So VS. Now I'm going to uh, create a new layer. Same thing. This one I'm going to do it in white. Oop, why is this that entered on the same layer? Let's create a new layer. Sorry about that. Okay. Now let's try. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put the black on top. I'm going to do a glow effect. Again, a glow effect. You can do that with uh with filters. I'm just going to uh 
just do it by hand okay so now see I'm doing it sort of like a drop shadow you know down and to the down and to the right a little bit which indicates the light source is coming from the upper left but this is a glow effect so really <laughs> doesn't really mean anything okay so I'm going to filter blur Gaussian blur well, rasterize it there we go okay I don't want to blow it out as much as I did on the other thing there we go so it's it's almost like a neon glow like it looks like a, a neon sign that it's glowing underneath okay I'm gonna use the arrows I'm gonna just move that around a little bit to get the best effect there we go see okay so now there's your logo that's all there is to it there's the black layer the glow layer the highlight layer the blue oval layer and the white background layer okay so now however you want to do this if you want to make your logo on a white background there it is or you can just take that white background layer and leave it blank and then all you gotta do is file save as and then you just save it with that blank background and it's going to the logo itself is going to float on the clear so all you're gonna see is the oval if you left that white there um, it would you'd have a big white square with the blue in the middle and I believe that was the complaint of the person that I was creating this uh, brief little tutorial for was they couldn't get rid of the the white background so all you do is you make it on a layer and then do file save as however whatever is visible when you do file save as that's what's going to be visible on your final product so okay so all I do is just take the layer off then do file save as and that's it alrighty well, I hope that was easy that little tutorial <laughs> threw it together on short notice I apologize I sounded a little stupid it's a little early in the morning uh, and uh, haven't quite woken up yet so uh, Alrighty, well there you go, there's a request for a uh, logo for a watermark, and then all you have to do is just take this and drop it into whatever program you're using. Um, uh, this is uh, this is going to be done on uh, Sony uh, Vegas uh, when I uh, upload this video, so maybe I'll add this logo to it so we can see what it looks like, so not only will this tutorial have the tutorial on how to do the logo. I'll drop the logo. Let me see if I can drop the logo down here in the bottom right if you can see where my mouse is at. Okay, so that's Chris with CCG Sales. Uh, thanks for coming by and uh, hopefully I didn't sound like too much of an idiot and uh, <laughs> hope to talk to you again soon. Uh, leave comments. I like comments. Uh, subscribe if you like it. Uh, you can uh, leave links in your uh, comments to uh, your tutorials so other people can learn stuff or you can leave a request in the uh, comments if there's a tutorial you'd like me to make alrighty once again Chris with CCG Sales thanks and have a great day